Porsche's modern 3D badging better ties the Panamera to its siblings, but it's the thin red strip of LEDs that unites it with the current 911. Yet the appearance of a saloon was almost as controversial. Porsche had pondered the idea for decades, even creating an ill-fated 989 prototype in the late 1980s, but the idea was greeted as a misshapen spanner in the internal machinery of the world's most renowned sports car maker. The look didn't help. The Panamera's Porsche design cues were stretched to the limit of credibility and beyond. There were other flaws, too. But it was engineered like the Tirpitz and in the right spec could leap continents in mighty bounds. Its audience was dramatically smaller than that of the KN, but it was chairman of the board-shaped and respectable. Helpfully, it suited China's burgeoning backseat luxury market to perfection. The model was updated in 2013, but not to the point where it destroyed the opposition in the way the contemporary 911 managed. This latest version, though, can claim a much more credible level of newness. It is bigger, reshaped, remodeled inside, overhauled in the chassis and endowed with Porsche's latest engines and gearboxes. After seven years, the Panamera no longer has to prove itself against the stigma of contentiousness, the mission now is to make Porsche's idea of a four-seat GT seem unequivocally more appealing than BMW, Audi, Maserati, Mercedes-Benz and Jaguar have managed in the meantime. The manufacturer has promised to redefine the performance benchmark in the luxury class. We chose the 4S diesel with which to examine that claim. We still aren't entirely sure what Porsche is testing with these odd Panameras. It seems way too soon for a refresh. The other possibility is a hotter model that the company might call the Turbo GT. These shots catch the model at the Nürburgring and in Southern Europe. This model wears a revised front bumper with revised intakes. There's also a new inlet at the tip of the hood, just above the license plate point one shot offers a glimpse into the cabin through the open window. The company has a fabric covering in there, which suggests some styling tweaks. Unfortunately, it's impossible to see what Porsche is changing in this photo. The rear looks largely identical to other high-end trims of the Panamera with dual oval-shaped exhausts on each side. The lower fascia between the pipes has a vertical rib in the center, this includes sharing the 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 that makes 631 horsepower, 